when I sit on your butt and give your knees a break. I'm Tim Johnson. You're watching Shop Tool Reviews. This is the Sidekick Stool SK2 from MyCanic. Now this is a premium stool. What do I mean by that? Well, other shop stools, you know, they're $29, $39, $49 that you find online all the time, or you see them at parts stores and you pick them up, or a big box store. They just don't hold up. The casters give out, uh, the, the bolts actually back out, fall apart, and the padding on those things are usually like paper thin, or when you sit on them after you've sat on them for 30 seconds, your butt's actually sitting on the wood or the metal or whatever's underneath them. Also, they usually flex a lot, what have you. This is not the case. This stool for MyCanic is much different. You'll see right away it's got a welded design on it, so the kind of the, the square tubing box frame here is all welded, and you can tell a difference when you sit on it. Uh, the, got nice casters on it, nice roller rubber casters uh, with ball bearings, uh, so it rolls really nice. They're all swivel casters very easy to turn and maneuver on this. Um, the top is al also bolted on because you actually got some flexibility where you can actually raise the stool up if you want to. I believe it varies a, a, you know, another four or five inches, so you've got three or four different holes that you can choose from. Uh, I like it in this lowest position because it seems that I can get to uh, wheels, tires, brakes, suspension, um, things like that for, for rolling around the car, especially once the car's up on jack stands. This is the perfect height when it's on its lowest position, uh, its lowest position, and that's how I like it. Now, some other features on this are the side holders here. So you can actually, uh, you know, put spark plugs, lug, lug nuts, uh, tools, you know, extension sockets, what have you, and uh, the tool, the dual um, tool holders or parts holders here on the sides of the SK2. Um, also on the back side here is a great holder for whether it's a drill. I like to keep my mid torque impact in there. Um, you can keep, keep your impact wrench in there or whatever power tool that you like to go to uh, that sits in there quite nicely and, and uh, fits in there firm. It's not gonna move away um, or anything like that. You also got this, uh, this sliding drawer that actually slides out both sides, but with the impact in there, it's only gonna slide out the front side. You can actually easily pull this out as well, and that can be a parts tray for you, or it can actually you know, hold, your, hold your phone, your tablet, what have you, while you're doing your work. You may be playing your tunes or looking at your YouTube videos while you're doing your work, uh, whatever it is you need to do. The bottom drawer is a metal drawer that's on, that's on uh, slides as well, um, and so it easily slides in and out. Uh, it's also going to stay in there and retain in there. You've got a padded bottom as well. Uh, again, something to hold additional tools, uh, screwdrivers, pry bars, what have you, batteries, whatever you're wanting to keep in there, uh, you can do so. Now, over the past year, I've used this a lot for doing uh, body work as well as, uh, uh, you know, um, color sanding, uh, sanding primers, uh, doing actual detail work. So sanding clear coats and polishing clear coats, things like that. So you see a lot of white residue over it, even though I tried to clean it up the best I could. Um, but it works really well for that, like I said. So I can sit on this, roll around. You can also sit on this for the longest time. It's got a nice, dense, firm foam pad here on the top that doesn't give way even though you're sitting on it for, for several minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, a couple of hours. Uh, you still get that padding effect that doesn't go away. So that's probably not my favorite feature on here. Uh, in addition to probably the casters and just the solid structure. So that would definitely be my top three, would be the solid structure, uh, the padding on the stool, as well as the solid casters as well. You just don't feel it flex. You don't feel it, uh, feel like it's gonna fall apart if you lean one way or the other. Um, and then the additional features like the tool holders and additional space and things like that are just a plus. Now. This does come at a premium. It's a $109 stool. So you may think, oh my gosh, $109. But when you look at tool truck stuff or you look at actually good high-end uh, stools and shop accessories like that, I don't think it's out of hand. I think it's a great tool. I would definitely recommend it. They've even got, uh, they've got another car wash stool that, again, kind of has their same rigid construction, but it's also got a car wash bucket on it. So you can roll around and you can actually keep your car wash mitt in it. Maybe wash wheels and tires and the sides of vehicles works out really nice for that. But check out MyCanic at MyCanic.com. Also keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. If you don't mind, hit that like and subscribe button if you like this video. Also, hit the bell notification if you want to be notified of future videos. 
Hey, if you haven't done so, go out and do something nice for someone. Keep smiling and have a great day.